Welcome back guys. In this edition of the tutorial, we are going to see how to start a model in eTabs using an imported DXF file. So if you are just joining us, kindly click the subscribe button, like and share our videos with your colleagues. So let's get to the business proper. So this is the general arrangement of what I'm trying to model in eTabs. So as you can see on this part, I've reduced it to just grid lines, columns, beams and the slab. Let me quickly show you what I'm saying. Let's change this layer. Let's put it on edge. Let's try to turn off some of the layers. Turning off this, you see the whole of the slab layer is gone. Turning off this, the whole of the grid, mm, the beams are gone. Turning off this, the whole of the columns are gone. So let's bring everything back. So they are like this. Let me quickly show you how to put them up like this. If you are, if you are drawing your beams, all you need to do is to use the line command for your columns and your slab they need to be enclosed as such ensure you use your rectangle command so it's going to be something like this and please ensure that each component is assigned to a particular layer if you check my layers you see i have the slab i have the grid lines i have a particular layer for column and another one for beams and I've already shown you what they look like. So quickly, for you to start a model in eTabs or export a model from AutoCAD to eTabs, first thing you need to do is to prepare your DXF file. So to do that, there are two ways about doing it. It's either you open up a particular page again, then maybe say start drawing, then copy and paste that general arrangement, that is the column beams and the slab in this particular place, or you go back, you do the same you can also do it here without having to copy it to another page and that is my most preferred method and that is the method i'm going to show you today so to do that you click on your save as on your save as go to tools click on it then you go to option on option go to dxf option then ensure that you click on the select object after doing that click on ok label your dxf file whatsoever thing you want so i would like to label it it tabs dxf then you have to change the file type to any of the dxf by like using the 2013 so you click on your save so the moment you click on save you see it comes up with a select object so you select your object after selecting the whole of the object click on your enter and it autom automatically saves it so let's see it See, I've already created a folder for it. I want it to be saved in Einstein AJ. So you see, this is our eTabs DXF. So the next thing is for us to import it into eTabs. So after preparing your DSF, the next thing is to import it to the eTabs. So I believe you already have your eTabs installed in your system. If you don't know how to install the eTabs, we have a tutorial to show you how to do that, how to install eTabs and get a 361 day license so kindly check that tutorial so if you've done that you go here and click on new model so it's it's loading it brings up something like this you set your unit i prefer to use the metric si the shapes bs everything bs code you can choose your code so you say okay start clicking on okay it brings up this screen you turn off this then you have this maybe a bottom story height should be about 1.5 let's leave the rest the way they are ensure you select a blank page then click ok then it comes up like this so you're having this the first thing you should do is to try to return back to your story one because that's where you are going to import your dxf don't always forget that so before going further you have to define your materials in eTabs so quickly let's do that you go to define click on material properties you have these materials but we are going to add our own so you see add copy of material no rather add new material so you select europe you select concrete then let's see let's use c 2530 you click on ok don't change anything here let's just leave it okay say we add another new material this time our river let's say i like going to india because they provide me the opportunity of using a 450 so i'll go to river i'll select india so you see it already comes up i can actually pick a 415 or 
a mild 250 and you see other grades so but i'm going to use the 415 i say okay then i also say okay i'm not going to change anything there so i have my two materials i'll say okay then the next thing for me to do is to define my sections that is the beam the columns and the slab so i'll go to section properties frame section i would like to delete these ones because i'm not going to use them so i'll go to delete multiple properties i'll select all then click on delete then say okay okay you see this is not gone until i'm able to create another one before it goes so i'll say i'll say add new property rectangular section so it comes up here i'll select my material c25 there slash 30 so i'll come here and label it my column for my general arrangement is 230 by 230 c 230 by 230 so i have 230 by 230 I'll come here and tell the dimension tell it the dimension to be 230 by 230 see 230 by 230 so i'm going to modify this i'm also going to change the bar section to my high yield and um, maybe let's leave this as 30 mm I'll say okay so that is done about that i have my column section so we can see add copy of property so this we have our beam our beam is 230 by 450 say 450 450 we we'll come here the depth is the 450 so we have this we have the same material c 2530 i'm going to come here modify here we are going to change it m3 design only which is beam only the first one was column so here is going to be beam we still have the same uh, the same longitudinal bars so automatically come here and say let's say 40 so this this also to 40 and say okay then we'll click on okay we have this then we can delete this property off now and it goes so we are done with our columns and the beam remaining the slab so we'll go back to define properties define material properties again no section properties rather so we'll go to slab section let's modify this one you can actually add your own but let's modify this so let's say slab our slab is s150 s150 you select our material to be concrete let's still leave it as shelving and it's going to be slab if you are if you are designing other types of slab they are also available you can pick them so we have it as 150 mm so we say okay and okay so let's confirm this what we've done from our general arrangement our slab thickness is 150 our column our beam is 230 by 450 mm and our column is definitely 230 by 230 let's see okay it's 225 but we use 230 that's not much so it's okay so let's go back to our etaps so we have this so the next thing we are supposed to do now is to import our dsf so actually you can choose to import either the grid first or you import everything together but let me quickly show you how to do both so you go to file you come to import you go to dxf file of architectural grid that is if you want to import only the grid so you click on it it, it opens to the folder of your dsf where you saved your dsf if it does not open you can actually go back and locate it then select it then click on open so you want the grids only so you see i have a layer for grid lines so i can click on that ensure the unit is in the unit your drawing was actually drawn in so you click on that if it's not you change it so you click on ok so it has asks you to name it so you can say it has grid for the sake of this tutorial you can name it anything you want so you click on save so it automatically generates your grids for you you can choose you can see everything is in numbers maybe this side you want it to be alphabet let me quickly show you how to change that so you right click you say add or modify grid you go to this place so you go to modify grid so these are the ones we want to change so you can click on it let's say we want this to be alphabet a this b, this b let's say c d 
and E then we say OK and OK and you see it's it's now in alphabet so it's now showing us our dimension let's assume we don't want to see that you come here set display option you go to your display you come to dimension lines you put it off and you say okay you see the dimension is gone and you have your grid so you can actually choose to start drawing your columns and the rest but that will be too stressful so the next thing for you to do is to import your columns and beams and the rest so to do that you go back to file again you go back to import then you come back to architectural and dxf slash dwg file of architecture plan you click click on your dsf click on open ensure you change the story to story one because that's where you want your dxf file select we've already have a center line so we don't need to do them so we uncheck this and we we click on ok after ensuring that the unit is also in millimeter so we say ok so after importing your model the next thing for us to do is to start modeling our structure in it out the first thing to do is to go to options go to your architectural plan options we have to start by uh, by modeling the column first so we we'll go here we we'll say we select all then we we'll select our column we we'll say okay actually this is not the only place you can do that you will notice that we are now seeing only the shapes of our column so we want our our columns to span the whole of our stories so we'll come here and select similar stories if you want it to be only on one story you select one story if you want it to be on all stories you select all stories but we we'll actually define our stories as similar so we we'll come here we we'll say we we'll say we see we see it as this then we'll go to display we we'll go to plan view then we we'll go to architectural you see it is only the column that is showing so we'll click on it then we we'll right click and we say add column object and it has automatically adds your column for you to the whole of the story because it's on similar story and all of them are similar to story one so the next thing for us to do is to add our beams so we can come here select this and say hide or show then come to our beam and say hide or show so it comes up so i can go to my draw beam column Raising, then come here and select the material the um, property to be my beam 230 by 450 then i will now come here and tell it has either either doing this there are two methods of doing this either going and pointing my cursor to each beam and right clicking and telling it has to add beam member so you see it automatically adds those beams that is one of the way of doing it but let me control z you can also add that all at once you select this right click then you say add beam object so you can see it adding up it's coming up here and the whole of it is added automatically it has to stay adding them so you see you see as easy as that so the next thing to do is to add our slabs so we we'll come back here go to our slab Okay, so like this, we we'll ensure that it is on the slab that we want. That's 150. So we we'll come back here and say slab. So we we'll let's say hide this, uh, hide or show. Say slab. Say what is it called? Hide or show. Then we we'll say okay. Then we we'll right click. Then we we'll come back and say add area object. So it does automatically add that for you let's come back to this point and say let's see how to change some of the property let's go back to here and say the display should be viewed by section properties let's see apply so you see changes it shows our column our beams and slabs are pink colors so we can also change that from here to say material properties you say apply so you see they're all the same materials concrete material so we can come here and say maybe by groups say apply see changes to yellow so that is how to start a modeling of a structure in, with a dsf file in it 
so if you've not subscribed to our channel kindly click on the subscribe button like and share our videos so that we make exciting and interesting videos to teach you more interesting things to teach you more interesting things and this brings us to the end of this tutorial see you next time this is Einstein AJ Chess